Major League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Norfolk Tides and the Buffalo Bisons. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Number 51, a left-handed Missouri native, is the starter in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now into the box, Jumai Jones, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. For Norfolk, the second baseman, Jumai Jones. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball in there for a called strike. First pitch, one o'clock. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0 2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Fastball strike three called and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling keep throwing it right there three fastballs in a row. He gone. In now Taryn Vavra as it's grounded sharply to first and he'll take it onto the bag himself two gone now here in the first. Adley Rutschman digging in now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. On the ground, up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Dean Kremer, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Striding in is Josh Palacios. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half and of the first. For the Bison, the center fielder, Josh Palacios. Pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. That second, the third baseman, number 74. Ready now is number 74. He stands in for the first time in this one. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a liner. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Batting third. And now that here is back. Cullen Large. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. Now the pitch. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1. Yeah I get it they want to run this guy's pitch count up but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Running hard, he's digging for second. Batting four. The left fielder. Lundquist. Stepping in now, Brock Lundquist. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 
Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. An inning in the books, no score on the show. That brings up Tyler Nevin. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. The right fielder, Tyler Nevin. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Palacios is right there, one down. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Willie Yon. So now here is Willie Yon. First pitch coming, here it is. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly, and there are two away now. So two out, nobody on. And in with a bat in his hands will be used. Here's the first pitch to him. Yanked on the ground down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Batting seven. The first baseman, Kyle Stowers. Into the box, Kyle Stowers. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. It ain't no surprise. Bottom of the inning now. And next to hit is the catcher, Reese McGuire. The catcher, number seven. First pitch coming, here it is. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Canelo comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. That is it. The right field. Gregory Polanco. Here's Gregory Polanco. First offering. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. So the next to bat will be Kevin Smith. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch on its way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. 
Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, Batting kept in. his hands inside Second the baseball, base and ripped the base Number hit up the one. middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. At the plate, Dilson Herrera, as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. Now another 0 2. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the DH, Mason McCoy. Here's the first pitch. Lined but speared on a hop. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in will be Malkin Canelo. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And quickly there are two away. The bat. Stepping the in once pitch. again is Jumai Jones. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. In there and it's 0 and 1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The 0 2 home. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up, throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. Into the box, Jordan Groshans. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First offering. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Here's the 0 1. Off the plate, ball one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Managers these days like to think of that nine hole hitter as the second leadoff man and he plays the role pretty well right here. Gets the leadoff double and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. And stepping in Josh Palacios and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah great RBI opportunity here but at the very least he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. He's set now the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0.
from the stretch. Swing and a liner. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? Digging in, the switch hitter, number 74. 0 for 1 here in the early going. the stretch here's a ball hit high down the right field line this ball has a chance and it is gone so a two run homer down the line in right field as it's now a two nothing ball game Yeah, with one out and a runner on third, he just wanted to lift one to the outfield to move across the run. But he does a heck of a lot more than that by lifting it right over the fence. Now batting, first baseman, Kelly. Standing in now, Cullen Large. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. So next to bat will be Brock Lundquist. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Now here's the pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We played three full. It's now a two-nothing ball game. Now at the plate, Taryn Vavra. Leading Offense needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So bases are empty with one out now. And up next, Adley Rutschman. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in on to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Now batting. Next, Wait it'll be Tyler Nevin. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. As a hitter, the now only that. feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving really? one into the gap like yeah. that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Into the box now, really Jan. No balls in one strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh, that 
balls driven into left center. This could be trouble. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You get the first two out of the inning, the next guy doubles, and then you give up a two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, and you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base, and he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through. With it. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Outside of home runs, nothing now fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball at the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound. And then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. So here is Reese McGuire, flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now here it comes. The 1-1 one, one home. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Now I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. At the plate now, Gregory Polanco. 0-1 the count. And the pitch. Oh, and he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Stepping in now, Kevin Smith. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for one with a single so far. Lifted down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now the one and one pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. Around first, digging for two. And he will pull into second with a two out double. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese, middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Into the box, Dilson Herrera. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He set the 0 1. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1 and 2. Bouncer to the left side. He's right there. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mm -hmm. 
now to the plate Mason McCoy comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the pitch. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next, Malkin Canelo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. In time to first, and there are two away. Now that. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jemai Jones. He grounded out last time up. First pitch of the AB now. Grounded up the first baseline. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Last half of the fifth coming up. Buffalo's in front of this one. Two to one. And now in the box, Jordan Groshans. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Lifted in the air to center. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now, now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Josh Palacios. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Fifth inning, 2 to 1 our score. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Nevin is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Stepping in next, number 74. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guy is coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. To short, scooped up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started and Maybe stepping up is the shortstop Taryn Vavra. Taryn Vavra. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a line drive. A dive but it's off his glove. Hey just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball stay square as long as possible and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. So now to the plate Adley Rutschman line to the right side and that's in there base hit and that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now batting, right fielder, Tyler Nevin. To the plate now, Tyler Nevin. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores from second to make it a 2-2 ball game now. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Standing in now, Willie Yon. And he puts it on the ground to second. 
throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score really good job of putting the ball in play right there even though it wasn't a base hit it does bring the go ahead run for his team. Use Neil Diaz is the next to bat he's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. And now the first pitch swing and a liner. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. And the run will score from third to make this a 4-2 to two game. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He, he did, d -Row, and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad head started. Now out of the dugout comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. At the plate now, Kyle Stowers, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. One there, on to first, and how about that for an entrance? One pitch, two outs, and the inning is over. So three runs on four base hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. Tides lead it four to two. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and here comes and the first baseman, the Cullen bison. Large. The first baseman, Cullen Large. Pitch on the way. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. That's lifted the other way out to left. Canelo comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Brock Lundquist. He bounced out last time up. First delivery to him. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Can't get around quick enough and that'll move the count to one and one. And tried to get that one airborne but it's one and two. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. To deliver, here comes the first pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Nevin will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. And now, Mason McCoy. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Mason McCoy. Here's the pitch. 
hit weakly back to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The left fielder. Next to dig in, Malkin Canelo. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First delivery to him. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Next to stand in is Jumai Jones. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Stepping in now, Taryn Vavra. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. This game is unbelievable sometimes, Dan. There's a bullet knock right there. You're expecting an RBI. He almost hit it too good. He can't even score. Boy, too good is it, Mark. This is one right here. It just kind of gets out to the outfielder so quick that the runner not able to score from second base. In now, Adley Rutschman reined in. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's five to two. Wow, I know shortstops have the reputation for being flashy, and I think he was trying to show off his cannon of an arm on that one. But the cannon was a little too powerful, and the ball sells way over the first baseman's head. He did get a lot behind the throw, though. At the plate, Tyler Nevin. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So one run here on two hits, one error, and a couple of men left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The tide's out in front, five to two. Last half of the seventh here, and the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. First offering. Fouled off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Next up, Kevin Smith. He doubled his last time through. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. So next to hit is Dilson Herrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And now the first pitch. <laughs> Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the third baseman, Willie Yon. Willie Yon. 
wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. In there, a base hit. Now that the center fielder used the L. To the plate now, use Neil Diaz. Hit back toward the mound. Scooped up to second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Boy, that's about as easy as it comes. A chopper, two hopper, turns into a tailor made 4 6 3 double play. Standing in now, Kyle Stowers. Back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Into the box now, Mason McCoy, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And, and coming go. forward now is the shortstop, Jordan Groshans. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in Triple A. Count still at one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. That's a ball. I got to count two and two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's the really man. impressive to me, no he hasn't view. walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Stepping in now, Josh Palacios. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Wind up and the 0 1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup, and here comes the 0 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5 to 2 ball game. Line toward right center, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how managers think it. He's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. In now, number 74, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far.
He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. One out and a runner on third. And he fouls this one off. This is hit softly to third. A play at the plate, and not in time as the run scores. So now into the box is Cullen Large. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring in time this game become a lot greater. First offering on its way. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Brock Lundquist struck out in his last trip to the plate. First offering low for ball one. The 1 0 home is a fastball that misses. Well this is a spot you'd like to be in 2 0 good hitter. Now here comes the skipper out of the third base dugout and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard but he cannot lose this one. Spencer Watkins takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. He hammers it to deep right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. As we take a look at this one, you can see he puts a good swing on it. But I don't think he got on it just enough to put some backspin to get it out of here. But hard to complain about a well hit double, though. Into the box, Reese McGuire, weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So one run on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We've played eight full. Tides lead it five to three. Jacob Barnes enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So stepping in is Malkin Canelo grounded out in his last at bat. Canelo. First pitch on its way. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And it's a foul ball. A one count. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next up is Jumai Jones. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. 
He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to short, right to him. Throw gets him, two down. Now at the plate, here is Taryn Vavra, singled in his last at bat. Vavra. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. And now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Two out, nobody on. Lined into left center. And this will get over his outstretched glove. A great effort there, but it's a base hit. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double up with the same piece of cheese, and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. At the plate, Adley Rutschman. And he puts it on the ground to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. The tide's out in front, five to three. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Gregory Polanco. First pitch of the A.B. now. Swung on and belted to right by Polanco. This one's deep, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile. Bring the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Kevin Smith is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 and 0. Polanco aboard here at first with nobody out. 2 and 0. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1 0, 2 0, 3 1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball. 80 to 90 percent of the time and he takes it just can't understand the methodology there. Diaz will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Next to hit is Dilson Herrera. He went down on strikes in his last at bat and a called strike down in the zone nothing in one. Runners on first with one down lifted in the air out towards left center. Canelo is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now to bat Jordan Groshans. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Ball one. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. Nice A.B. right there. Two out single in the ninth. You put yourself in a position to be the tying run. Now you have your boy coming up behind you, the winning run at the plate. Start loosening up the water cooler lids. We could have a walk off. Standing in now, Josh Palacios. Little dribbler up the third baseline. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. 
four out save job well done five to three the final score in this afternoon's game the tides wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one Dean Kremer is credited with the win so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the new website the show.com Two, two, you yeah. would think I'm in the six, six, yeah. born Jan 26, 36, but I never the